would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one who has come today. As we continue to walk in faith, may each of your paths be filled with joy, faith, and blessing. My thought for today, be thankful for the past, rejoicing in the present, and preparing for the future. And I think that's the end of my job this morning. You are now getting the answer. Come on, let's give her a hand.
Hallelujah. If we can have the deacons to come forth and give us a prayer. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody just lift up your hands and just begin to bless the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord in this place. I don't know what you're feeling in this house, but I feel the presence of the Lord moving in this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God, you're worthy.
has an inheritance, the land, which I swore to our fathers to give them. But only be strong and be very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. Look, look at somebody real quick and just, just tell them, say, it's our turn. It's our turn. Amen. So you can say, it's our turn. Now, now, just in case they don't they don't hear that, preach it to yourself. It's my turn. Come on, open your mouth and say, it's my turn. Yes. Father, in Jesus' name, give us power to preach. Open up these love passages. Then God, hide me behind the cross, but need the dripping of your blood that the people would see less of this preacher, but they would hear the only preacher. We ask it, I ask that you would forgive me of all sins, of all shortcomings. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we thank you. Together we say amen. As you sit down, just say, it's our turn, it's our turn, it's our turn. It's our turn. The armed forces does not allow anyone into the army, nor the Marines, or the Air Force, without first sending them through basic training. Say it again, they don't allow anyone to get in the army. To get in the Marines yeah. or the Air Force without first sending them through something called the basic training. All right. Even though, watch this, they call it basic training. It is 10 weeks of testing. All right. It is 10 weeks of testing to see if one can follow orders. All right. It is 10 weeks of testing to see if one can follow directions. But ultimately, the test is, can you handle pain? Can you handle persecution? Can you handle dealing with an enemy that don't like you? Can you handle people, watch this, who are around you, but are that not into you? And that being, watch this, the case of, of the army, I need to tell you, brothers and sisters, God is a God who sent each of us through his own personal boot camp. Because God desires to birth out soldiers and not softies. All right. I think I need to say it again. God, his desire of sending you through boot camp is that God is going to birth out soldiers and not softies. To birth out warriors and not wits. God wants to birth out those that will have triumph but not will always have timidity. And all I'm saying is God he sends us through to make us better and I need to pause parenthetically to let you know that the only reason you've been going through the hell that you're going through the only reason you've been going through the storm and rain the only reason you've been dealing with heartache and pain it is simply because the Lord wants to bring out the best in you you ought to give God glory and lift up your Holy Ghost hand and say Lord thank you for allowing me to go through everything that I went through 
there anybody in here uh, you can retrospectively uh, look back in the rearview mirror of your life uh, and say, Lord, uh, I thank you uh, that I dated the wrong person. Uh, Lord, I thank you uh, that I found out uh, about who my enemies uh, really are. Uh, Lord, uh, I thank you uh, for God. Uh, it was nobody but you uh, who allowed me uh, to see uh, what I needed to see. Uh, Lord, uh, it was nobody but you uh, who let me see uh, who they really were. Uh, you ought to give God uh, some glory uh, and say, Lord, uh, I thank you uh, for allowing me uh, to go through uh, everything uh, that I went through. Uh, is there anybody up in here? You can give God the glory, because the Lord God Almighty, He allowed you to go through and take and say, Lord, I thank you for sending me. Ain't God alright? But the Bible says that God, He picked a fella by the name of Joshua. You want to tap yourself and say His name was Joshua. And who was Joshua? He was Moses' servant. What are you saying, preacher? He served Moses. He served the people of God. He worked for God. He showed up on time. He worked for God. He served Moses. He fought battles while Moses was on the mountaintop. And when God was looking at him, somebody. Uh, he said, I'm going to get Joshua uh, because Joshua uh, he's been faithful. Uh, you ought to open your mouth uh, like you've been born again uh, and say Joshua uh, was a faithful man uh, because there's too many people uh, they want blessings uh, without burden. Uh, they want position uh, without pain. Uh, they want triumph uh, without trouble. Uh, but is there anybody here uh, you can lift up your hand uh, and say, I'm only uh, where I am uh, by the grace of God. Uh, I'm only uh, where I am because uh, if it had not been uh, for the Lord on my side, uh, shall where would I be? Uh, ain't God alright? Uh, and so what God did, uh, he picked a fella uh, by the name of Joshua. Uh, but I need to tell you uh, that Joshua, uh, he wasn't looking uh, for no position. Uh, and when you're not looking, uh, that's when God picks you. Uh, and I need to tell you, uh, when the Lord picks you, uh, he picked you uh, to be picked on. Uh, Y'all didn't hear uh, what the man of God said. Uh, he picked you uh, to be picked on. Uh, that's why they don't like you. Uh, he picked you uh, to be picked on. Uh, that's why they talking about you. Uh, he picked you uh, to be picked on. Uh, ain't God alright? Uh, but he picked a fella uh, by the name of Joshua. Uh, Uh, a challenge uh, give Joshua uh, commitment uh, give Joshua uh, a charge uh, and he tells Joshua uh, grab Cedar Grove uh, I said grab the people uh, of Israel uh, cause we get ready uh, to go somewhere uh, can I get Cedar Grove uh, to open up your mouth uh, and say, Lord, uh, we get ready uh, to go somewhere. Uh, where you go and preach her, uh, we're on our way uh, to the promised land. Uh, we're on our way uh, to the land uh, that's flowing uh, with milk and honey. Uh, we're on our way uh, to what God promised us. Uh, You ought to open up your mouth and give God the glory and say, 
move. Yeah. And what I'm telling you, yes. you got to arise yes. from your womb. Yes. Stop trying yes. to bring clarity yes. on what already has happened. God yes. says arise yes. from your womb. Because y'all know Moses died. Yes. And the Bible says, come on y'all.
Mm-hmm. Without a little fat short preacher. Amen. Oh, so. Amen. <laughs> How can he preach? Mm-hmm. I'm being here about what he said. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I boldly say that. Hallelujah. It's time to arrive. Yes, yeah. sir. And get over this Jordan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you say? It's time to get over it. Hallelujah. We got work to do. Yes. A church to build. Hallelujah. Listen, I see the choir. Come on, Bishop. I got the wrong crowd. I see. Yeah. Field. Yeah. There's nobody here right now, but I see them. Amen. Amen. Some of them dark skin, light skin, some of them big, some of them little. Yes. Yes. Some of them medium size, got weeds, wigs. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Every pew. Yes, sir. Gonna have at least four to five people on each pew. Amen. Amen. Preacher, how that's going to happen? Where there's no vision. Amen, amen. The people perish. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Happy is he. Yes. That keep the law. Guess what, y'all? I have a vision. Amen, yeah. amen. It's not a petition. I just have a vision. Yeah. Of making this be what God wants it to be. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm going to always say this because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm on way to go preach again. And I can boldly say at 905 on a Sunday morning, God has shown me something. Hallelujah. When I first came, this is a shout, I wanted God to show me something. And God has shown me something, Mama Wilson. Hallelujah. He has shown me what he can do. Amen. Amen. He has shown me what he wants to do. Yes. He showed me what he will do. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I, I see a whole row of deacons on both sides. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all got one back there at the door. Hallelujah. Great men of God. Amen. Amen. All these men that dress this church even now. Amen. Time is now, church. Yes, yes. Are y'all listening to me? If the Lord bless me to come back, I want to finish up Joshua. Amen, amen. Chapter 1, because it is so much meat on the bone. Hallelujah. But they all God said to do is arise. Yes. Amen. Preacher, how do I rise? If you got a if you got a good memory, I want you to first of all start where you are. Amen. <clears throat> If you want to ride, you got to start where you are. Hallelujah. Somebody say, start where I am. Start where I am. Yeah. I mean, to the young people, if you want to do something, start right where you are. Yes, yes. Stop looking at what Shaquisha them got. Mm. Shakandra them. Yes, hallelujah. Don't worry about them. Uh-uh. Start where you are. Yes, yes. I don't hate over what God did for nobody else. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm not mad at what God has done in nobody else's life. Yes, yes. One thing Bishop taught me, y'all, I want to say this, I want to get this out of my spirit. That was the only man that ever, first man that told me he loved me, I'm talking about a man. Amen, amen. That taught me what love is. Hallelujah. When he first said, I love you, I didn't know how to say it back because I had nobody ever told me that. Amen. My old father had never said that to me. Mm. He said, man, I love you. I said, all right. <laughs> cool. Peace. Yeah, I love you. I'm out. <laughs> he said, doc, can you hear me? I said, I love you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I had to say it back. None of these men that under under my leadership will ever leave my office without me saying what? Because no. you can't give what you don't have. Amen. Amen. But now that I have it, I can look at Nye and say, Nye, you know what? I love you. Mm. And watch this and mean it. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, he love you, man. Love yes, you. hallelujah, hallelujah. Love you. Wait. I love you. And I'm not just saying it to say it. I'm saying it because I mean it. Amen. Mama Wilson. Hallelujah. I love you. Hallelujah. I 
not because you got the same name as my mama. <laughs> but I love me some Maddie Lee Wilson. Amen. Amen. That was my baby. You know what I'm saying, y'all? I got to just get this off. Mama would call me every Sunday. Mm. Every Sunday. And she would say, son. Hallelujah. You ready to preach today? Uh -uh. I'd say, mama, I'm ready. After Sunday, I'll call her and say, how did church go? Uh -uh. She said, you know what old bishop tore the house up? Amen, amen. I say, mama, that'd be good sometime you come by to see if I can tear the house up too. Uh -huh. That was my baby. And y'all, I'm just happy what God is going to do. Yeah. Amen. Do you believe the word of God today? Did you hear what God said today? If you do, clap your hands. Come on. Clap your hands. All you people shout out to God with the voice of triumph. Didn't our musicians do well? Come on, y'all. Let's thank God for Chris, Matt Frazier, and the humble, and the humble.